So now I'm going to put on the 58mm telephoto lens by Moment. And now you can see the difference. We can also go 3 plus. And now we're going to try the wide lens by Moment. Here it says right there, 18 millimeters. If I dropped it, it would be gone. And this is what it looks like. So today, me and my assistant, Smiley, will be opening a few things from Moment. Moment creates cases, lenses, and other uh, supplies for cameras to become, uh, for phones to become more like professional cameras. So let's start with the exciting things. I am Olena, this is Isaac, and, and we, we are, are the Travel, Travel Bug, Bug Bites. Bites. We met in Prague, Czech Republic. Lived in Shanghai, China. New York and Rhode Island, USA. And now we live in Hawaii. Hawaii. We've traveled from Tibet to Puerto Rico. Harbin to PP. And drove cross country with Smiley in our Tesla Model 3. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to follow, follow our adventures. adventures. This is the Moment Telelens. It is the 58 millimeter and it's from their M series. See if it says anything else. Um, no, there's a warranty on this product. If there's any issues with it, they'll let them know. And this, ooh, that's what it looks like. Cool. Nice and heavy, it feels like a real, real lens. When I say real, I mean not for an iPhone. So let's see what it says. One, a line dashes on the lens inside of the ca case. Okay, I'll show you how to put this on in a bit because we'll unbox the case a little later. This also comes with a little baggie to protect your lens. Drop something. Lens cover, I think. Yeah, and a lens cover because like you see, this is very you know, breakable if you don't take good care of it, just like a normal lens. This is really cool. So uh, it comes with a labeled case. We just unboxed um, something recently from another company and they did not have their cases labeled. So I'm gonna have to like make my own labels because it gets a little confusing to see which filter is which. But here it's already labeled for me, which is super convenient. And this other lens is the wide lens. So it's the 18 millimeter. And if I understand correctly, that's the fisheye-ish lens, or at least it makes it wider. I don't think all wide lenses are fisheye. And I'm not sure if this one is, but it looks like this. Doesn't look that much different. It says on it that's the 18 millimeter. And Note it comes... that we're filming this with my iPhone 12 mini, not your Pro Max, yes. so the close-ups aren't as good. Yeah, Isaac's mini does not have macro mode like my iPhone. Ow. Um, and yeah, it comes with its own case, like I said, and more instructions on how to put it on the case. Let's open, I bought two cases. And the cool thing, I know this is not what most people will do with these, but I have two filters now and two lenses, and it's so annoying to like fiddle with them, take them on and off. Well, it's not that annoying, but for me it is. So I like the idea of having a, a lens attached to a cover permanently and have those in a bag so I can like take them out and change them as needed. Are you, so, sure, it's, are you sure it's not a treat though? Oh, see, beautiful. Mm. Smiley, you may have, no, you, this, there's instructions on this, you may not eat it. You may, you can't eat this either actually. Let's see what this says. This is the Indigo um, M-Series MagSafe case for iPhone Pro Max. iPhone Pro Max. Mm. Um, it has, it's slim design, balances protection and size. It's true, it's not too bulky. I use a really bulky case normally, so this is really nice. Uh, it has a built-in magnet for a MagSafe. It has a camera strap attachment that is really useful. I like to wear my phone around my neck because I always have it with me and sometimes my hands are full. And the textured area is also for better grip, especially when taking videos. I get pinky injuries from holding my iPhone too much while filming. Isaac makes fun of me. <sighs> it's not funny, by the way, Isaac, when someone injures themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I also have a black case. So these are the same case, but in two different colors. There's the 
there's instructions here on how to use them with uh, various mounts because Moment also sells a lot of mounts for these cases so that you can, you know, have it in your car and all sorts of places. They have a lot of different things. And I think they might even have like tripod style mounts. But yeah, I do like the blue a little more even though black goes with everything a little better. It's nice to have the choice. And finally, to attach these, you need the, what do they call this again? These, the lens mount. I've been working with so many companies, they all call their product something different so it can get a little confusing. Let me find out if the lens mount needs to go, I think it's on this, yes. No, lens mount goes like this. But um, it'll be obvious to you if you mess around with it. Does it go on the inside or the outside? Does it go like this, or like that, or like where, or like how? Okay, you can pause this, I'm really confused. Okay, confusion over. Uh, these cases come with this little thing here that you just push out, and they look like this. Mm -hmm. And then you take the mount, and you put it in like that. Just click it in. And it's the perfect fit. Boop, a little more. This isn't hard if you know what you're doing. This is my first time doing this, so it's a little messy. Come on. So the trick is, if you're having trouble clicking it in, is to do this corner first, and then you click the rest in. Rest in because you can push with your fingers. In the corner, you can't push with your fingers. So that's the trick to doing it. And now let's put my iPhone in this case. So see for lazy people like me, if you have two of these and you have one attached to one and one to another, it can be a lot easier to just flip your phone in and out of different cases, but then you also have a lot of stuff to carry with you. It's not convenient, but yes. So now my... <laughs> Where's your camera? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't see anything. I wonder why. So does it cover up the ones that aren't used? And... Nope. It does not cover them up. That's my assistant Isaac asking silly questions. Uh, not all three cameras are used all at once. The iPhone S3, they were only used all at once when you do certain things. But like one camera is the one-time optical zoom lens, one is the three, and one is the 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. That's why you can only get optical zoom when you use the preset so does it just click on there then? It clicks on you. Nope. Here, come closer. You go like that, and then you go like that. That is easier than switching out cases. So here. Now turn the phone on. I want to see. I'll turn the phone on. Oh gosh, you want to see my face through this? Hmm. Uh. Put it in on the wrong lens. Hmm. It's covered, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Don't forget to take off the lid before you try to take photos. So is not that now the wrong one? That is the right one, and it automatically went to it, and I can zoom in. And can I zoom out? No, that's not using the lens. Pro tip, I suggest not using the native camera app for, if you want to use these lenses and use uh, a different app such as ProCam, which only costs uh, a few dollars and um, it lets you pick which lens you're taking photos with, which is incredibly useful. There are other apps that do similar things uh, for video as well. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So, ah, it's in the way now. Oh, there we go. Oh, mm, whoa, See, uh, cool. I recommend I recommend that if you're gonna use these lenses or any filters, any lenses at all, to turn off your iPhone's automatic lens detection so you have control of what you're doing with the phone. Although- That's crazy, I can like see this. all the way to the ceiling. This wow. is the wide lens, yes. Oh shoot, do people see our mess? Nope, just, uh, just landscape uh, portrait mode. We only clean the area that <sighs> needs to be videoed. Wow, that's, so that's really cool. That's it like, turns it lens. into a GoPro, essentially. Yes. That's cool. And then let's try the um, tele telephoto tele lens. Is that, you can zoom tele -lens. in. 
Oh, I see. The automatic lens detection is not happy about this. Yeah. Do you see what's happening? Yeah. Is it happening? Yeah. It, Video go, it. it goes in. It goes in and out. I saw that with the last one. Yeah. There we go. And it goes back Let's and see forth. See if we can if we put it on the top one. Like I said, I'm just opening this and trying it for the first time. Yeah, I think it is always the bottom one that you do this with. Here's a great photo that I borrowed from dpreview.com. It explains the different lenses. And um, as I mentioned before, don't forget to use the ProCam app so that you can choose which lens you were shooting with and have more accuracy and control over what you're capturing. Oh, it's, yeah. And whoa, whoa, okay. When I do three times zoom on this, it like really zooms. I'm like scared to let you do this to me. Okay, then we'll. <laughs> Let's start with one. Do it. With a okay one. Hang on, and then three. Whoa. Wait for it to. Yeah. Oh gosh, should have put makeup on. <laughs> yeah. It goes in and out of focus, kind of, but. Again, I have my lens correction, automatic lens correction on. So there's yeah. settings you can change to make this a smoother process. Also, like, the color, whoa, yeah, it's seeing the thing now. But the color is really weird um, through my camera onto your screen. Oh. It's not what it actually looks like. It makes you look a little weird. But Why, thank you. It's not what you are. That's what every woman wants As to As you can see in the it video that I'm taking with this phone, that's not what you actually look like. You're not wearing radiant, like, bright red makeup all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like Not through the lens. Not this time. Anyway, so these are the Moment lenses. I'm really excited to show you some videos taken with these. I will be using them a lot. It's almost whale season here in Hawaii, on Maui specifically, so we'll be filming whales with this telephoto lens. I'll be zooming in right into their faces and hope they're not bright red, but if they are, so be it. But yeah, I'll uh, show more videos on how these actually work. This was just me unboxing and trying and failing. <laughs> so that when you watch this, you will learn how not to be me. <laughs> See you later. See you later. If you liked our video, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Check out our videos from all around the world and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.